My name is Elise Grassi Soyster, and I'm a researcher for the University Affiliated Research Center with UC Santa Cruz at NASA Ames Research Center, and I do synthetic biology research. So synthetic biology is kind of a new term, especially here at NASA. So generally you hear about genetically modified organisms or GMOs in terms of food, but it's so much more than that. And we're trying to look at how we can use biology and the natural processes that occur uh, to make things work better for us. So here at NASA, that poses an interesting question because we're not used to using a lot of biology for space travel. It's a lot of physical or chemical processes, a lot of mechanical processes. But now that we're looking at missions that need more sustainability because they are longer, we're looking at biology more seriously because it can regenerate itself, uh, you know, we can make it do exactly what we want through the use of genetics. What I do on a day-to-day -day basis is I work with bacteria uh, very intimately, so, you know, making them do exactly what we want them to do through genetic manipulations or putting them in different environments, see how they react. And a lot of the stuff that I work with has to do with waste processing and life support. Synthetic biology is really important for NASA's mission because with long duration space missions to Mars or you know anything past the moon basically, or low Earth orbit, but we're gonna have to rely on bacteria a lot more because they are pretty robust and uh, they can do a lot of things naturally that we need. So with technologies like the ones that we're working on to break down wastes and harvest things like energy or clean water, those can definitely apply uh, in many different environments here on Earth. It's not exactly difficult to be a woman in this field, but we still have a long way to go. There's still a lot of people who have some old-fashioned views about women in the lab, and uh, I think the more women we have in the field, the better. <laughs>